All righty, so some super exciting um, news. I guess it's not that exciting, but for us who have, haven't been to a theme park or our home park in almost two years now, this is absolutely exciting. For the rest of you, you're probably like, mm, boring, this happens every year, blah, 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 and you're clicked out of the video. Anyways, for those of you that are still here, Canada's Wonderland has released its park map, and they've released a lot of tidbits of information throughout the site, and me and my team, I think we have found all of them. Um, some of them may be the same to previous years, but to us, we think some of these are new. Um, but the first really interesting thing on this park map is Kingswood is grayed out. Um, what's interesting about that is even Action Theater, which isn't being used in the park, isn't grayed out. So could this be a teaser? Could this be some sort of just mistake could this be i don't know i don't know what it is what do you guys think it is comment in the comment section down below um and i will try and respond to everyone and let's have a conversation about what you think it is but i do find it really interesting that kingswood is grayed out and other attractions like action theater again which aren't being used aren't grayed out so super interesting we know that kingswood is currently being used for winterfest storage um, and uh, they built more Winterfest storage in the parking lot out behind Behemoth, so I don't know if they're moving that stuff out, but what's going to happen in Kingswood is completely beyond me. Um, to be honest, if I was to make a prediction, I don't think a roller coaster is going there. It just doesn't make sense. I think a roller coaster is going to replace Flight Deck and Time Warp down the route. I think if they're ever going to replace Kingswood with anything, it makes more sense to build maybe a hotel with some restaurants there or another park entrance with some restaurants there. Or, like there's so much opportunity with that plot of land that does not involve a roller coaster. Um, that I just think it's just, why waste on a roller coaster when there's other opportunities that the park could go down um, for a roller coaster? One of the other things is the Blast Pass is on Canada's Wonderland's website. And what this is, because it's over at Schlitterbahn, hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, cancel me if I didn't, but nonetheless, uh, it is over at Schlitterbahn. It is almost like Fastlane, but for the water park. And a park like Canada's Wonderland, this just makes sense. Why they didn't launch this earlier is beyond me. So I, again, I didn't see this coming, but I saw this coming, um, is the best way to describe it. This should have been at Canada's Wonderland ages ago. I don't know how they're going to make it work because the lineups at Canada's Wonderland are outrageously long and I just don't know how they're going to fit um, the Blast Pass people up into the water slide lineup or if they're going to change it, what it's going to look like. I have no idea. Um, but super interested to see how that works. Um, again, it is, I think they have fast lane at a few of the other parks. I think maybe Dorney Park and Valley Fair. Someone was commenting on Instagram and letting me know that they have fast lane at some of the other Cedar Fair water parks. Um, but it looks like they're bringing what Schlitterbahn uses, which is Blast Pass, over to Canada's Wonderland. Again, that's going to sell. Uh, it's going to do really well at Canada's Wonderland when the water park does open. So a very smart move on Cedar Fair's part. Um, nonetheless... Trying to think what else was new. They do have what looks like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the word what looks like a new boarding pass process. The wording is really, to be honest, horrendous on the website. It was difficult to understand. It sounds like it's the same that it used to be, but if you actually read it very carefully, I don't know if it's a mistake or not. What it sounds like you're gonna do now or what you were doing before, we don't know if it's the wording, but what they're describing is you go up to, for example, Yukon Striker. The ride attendant will write a time down, the weight that Yukon Striker's queue line currently is. You will go ride Yukon Striker immediately in that moment. And then you will not be able to go to your next ride until that time that the ride attendant wrote down on your piece of paper until that time that they wrote down. So let's say Yukon Striker's line is an hour and a half. You won't be able to go to your next ride for an hour and a half. Now I do want to clarify that we don't know if that's 100% it. We are just reading it. I'm going to put it up on the screen right about now. Um, or it was already up and you can read for yourself or you can head on over to the website. Again, it's very tricky wording. We're not 100% sure. But Sugar and Spice Pastry Shop. Um, so it looks like they're taking what did really well at Winterfest um, and trying it out all season long. So especially interested in the dipped cheesecakes. We saw those selling like hotcakes at uh, Winterfest. And I think that's exactly why we're seeing this store. 
Um, it's difficult to tell if it's going to be a little like stall next to the hot dog stand across from Tim Hortons or if it's going to be in Tim Hortons. I do remember Grace Peacock posting something on Twitter a year ago um, near the beginning of the season and it looked like the Tim Hortons was under construction from the top of Wonder Mountain. Um, so I'm not quite sure if that's where that's going because that was under construction or if Tim Hortons was receiving an upgrade because it's always busy. Again, it's very difficult to tell. I'm not quite sure, but it is in that area on International um, Street. So we'll see what comes there. This is super exciting if this is true. So Miner's Cafe looks like it's getting rid of that horrendous American menu that they introduced when they tried to launch this amazing Chinese food. If anyone got to experience this at the beginning of 2019, it was absolutely amazing. I love the lemon chicken. It was like some of the best Chinese food I've ever had. And then it was just apparently difficult to keep up with demand um, because it took like 10 minutes to make someone's meal because they were making it fresh in a skillet right there in front of you that they switched over to <laughs> corn dogs um, in Frontier Canada. It made no sense to me that they switched over to corn dogs and uh, cheese steak sandwich. But uh, nonetheless, if this is true, I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this to come back because it was some of the best food that Wonderland sold. So if that website is telling the truth, I'm super excited and you got to try this. So if, the, if they open up and this is what they're offering, go try it before they give up again because the best food that Wonderland has ever served, in my opinion. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Again, one of the most interesting things to me is definitely Kingswood being grayed out. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on there. I know they've been testing a second entrance for events, and they have that little events building that they built. So it would be weird to see anything happening with that, considering they did put a little bit of money in that area for a second entrance for events, like school events and all that, and they're using it for Winterfest storage. Um, so it'll be interesting. Again, you can't ignore things like that. I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're reaching, Brendan. But again, you can't ignore it. It's grayed out. Action theater isn't, so why is it grayed out? We got to focus on it. There's a reason behind it, or there's a little hint, or there's nothing at all. But again, there's some sort of reason. It could be absolutely minuscule, or it could be absolutely insane. Who knows? We're going to focus on it. We're going to pay a little attention to it. Again, it could end up being nothing. It could end up being everything. I'm trying to think if there's absolutely anything else I missed. Uh, Wonderland is still saying they're opening around mid-May. That's impossible. That's not going to happen. Um, is it going to open up mid-June? No, that's impossible too at this point. I just don't see it. It's definitely going to be uh, mid-July, end July, or beginning of August. That's best case scenario at this point. Um, nonetheless, we are heading in a very positive direction. So keep up that uh, looking forward to Wonderland opening. There is lots of hope. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Um, don't forget to comment down below what you guys think about all the new things coming to Wonderland in 2021. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below, too. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Um, and hopefully you guys had an amazing weekend. <laughs> Bye.